dreams are dreams, but I'm just going to be content with whatever happens. I've had thoughts of big stages and big lights and big crowds, but um, it's just kind of like at this point where it's like, if I end up playing like little venues where like little groups of college students know who I am, like that's great, you know. One of my friends, my drummer, says, it's pop, but I've got a nose ring. It's also like, it's kind of just like got an alternative indie twist to it a little bit, but it's definitely not like straight indie music. I kind of like to categorize it like if, <laughs> if like Katy Perry and Ingrid, Ingrid Michaelson had a baby, raised it and grew it up, it would be me. <laughs> Um, so I've got like the pop flair, but also, um, I don't know, just like quirky words and like, um, quirky influences and, um, you know, we've got like lots of spiels left and right and, um, I don't know, so just kind of a mixture of things. Head, though when you're um, trying to come up with different words? Um, well, a lot of it, I mean, you're kind of thinking about like everything at once. The most important thing is like the message that you're trying to um, portray. <laughs> Just go dance with a tree! <laughs> I mean, Basically, this is a political statement of how I'm really liberal and tree hacker. I'm with you. No, I, I can. I, it's subtle. No, I'm with you. It's subtle. I'm gonna, like solidify the first part first. So, like, if I'm gonna say I had a dream, so then I'm like, okay, dreams easy to rhyme with. Had a dream, and then I think of like the idea that I want the second verse to be, and then how can I phrase it in a way that will like lyrically work and like will rhyme with the first one. And like, you know what I mean? Just like, like I had a dream that I would just like always be singing like in nature. Like, oh wait, I got an idea. What's up? Um. Like, like, what is something like you said? Is it a line that ended with like playing pretend, and then like, like, so I closed my eyes and made, pre and like, I made believe or made pretend, and like, I saw the people without end. Like, I'm singing in front of like crowds and crowds and crowds. Of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of my songs, I'm like, I think of melodies and words at the same time. Like, I think of the music and the song together. Like, yeah. So Stuff. So I'm like, oh, this course would be cool here, and like, this would be cool here, because like the feel of the song is like really important. I'm resolute. What does resolute even mean? Determined, unswerving, steadfast, strong-willed, unshakable, steely. I'm steely. Fortuit, dedicated, rock ribbed. How many times do you think you've changed a verse just so it could like be perfect? Oh my gosh, like a million. Nothing rhymes with determined. Maybe that need it doesn't even rhyme with, with an eye. Um so I like this. But I held on tight, praying day and night, or whatever. I'm hoping just this time that dreams, they can come to life. But just this time makes me think that you've had a lot of dreams that have not worked out, and then that this one you hope would work out. Um, That's like kind of the point though, right? It's like well, you no, you're just a little kid. You know what I mean? Like at this time, you, you haven't done the grown-up scene yet. Um, We're still on like the adolescent scene. Okay. Over and done with is about being over boys. It's just like, it's really funny because everyone's like, who's it about? And like, it's not about anyone. It really is just like a general, like I heard about guys all the time in Zeta. And like, I would have like crushes here and there. And it's just like, 
I'm just so over and done. So I wrote this song for my dad. <laughs> hey daddy. I wrote give, a, give him a little preface, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I wrote you a song. Okay, sit down. He's already crying. <laughs> it's called Why My Way, which is actually what we ended up titling the entire album. Um, and it was, yeah, it was a tough process because, um, you know, it was kind of gonna originally be like a pretty upbeat, fun song. Um, about like his sayings, because my dad's seriously, you're you're like, hey dad, and he's like, can't kill two birds with one stone, and you're like, what, <laughs> what? Um, he just says sayings like literally all the time. Wondering how it all plays out. I remember every word that you spoke. Yeah, I don't think he says yes or no. He's like, did the honey, did the honey bear find his honey in the woods? And you're like. Is that a yes? Like, you know, so he always has these sayings. Um, and I wanted to write a song about that, but then actually, like, we had this bridge um, that was, like, really great and really, like, emotional and, like, heart-wrenching and stuff. And then, like, day of, the day I was supposed to record that song, we ended up, like, completely changing it. And, like, we were, like, um, Paul and Michael, um, Paul's my producer, Michael's my bassist, was, like, they were both, like, okay, John, I think we need to make the bridge the chorus. And, um, and then what was the chorus? The bridge. And I was, like, okay. So I that you were right. I remember. I love it. Um, yeah, it makes people cry. I feel bad about that, I guess. But um, it's been fun, and it meant a lot to him. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. I'm still your little girl like I was in those days. Those words of truth still light my way. If you need an answer, no. You were watching over me. Dreams are dreams, but I'm just gonna be content with whatever happens.